Oakuni comes from the phrase He Oakune Ke Te Ao, which broadly means an opening to a new world, which refers to the descent from Mount Ropehu into the valley and swamp areas. It is known as New Zealand's carrot capital and serves as a base for skiers and hikers who love to tramp the alpine tracks and for doing the Tongariro crossing. An interesting fact for those who are interested is that former All Black Andrew Donald came from around here and other famous celebrities like Kiefer Sutherland, Orlando Bloom and Burt Reynolds have passed through Cooney. class carriages. Well, that one went over into the river, as you see, it was hanging there. Well, this chap, Ellis, who tried to wave the train down, he ran, he chased the train, he ran along, and as he ran past the guard station, the guard put his head down and said, hey, what's going on? He saw the train was in the river. And the guard didn't believe him, he thought he was drunk Christmas Eve. And now, they both ran along, got into this carriage, came along, and got into this number six carriage, and the people were still sitting in their seats. And the lights had come on, the battery lights, and they were just sitting there. They knew something was wrong, and the carriage was rocking, they could hear the noise. And they sat there for about three minutes. And then two girls were underwater and swam up, hanging onto the luggage rack. And she pulled this other girl up, didn't know who she was, uh, a girl Karen and a girl Belle. And she pulled them up, they didn't know where they were. And they, um, they climbed out. They came out this door here, out of the carriage, and got up onto here, and that was the pier. But there they froze, with all the ice coming down off the mountain. They froze there, so they got on the locomotive, but there they burnt their feet. Yeah. So, so they, uh, they were having a hard time. They, um, now that was the carriage that I searched. I was 16 at the time, and I came out and went down to it and searched out, but there was nobody in it, they all washed out. There was a fourth girl got washed down here, a Sadie Woods. About two hours later, she was found in here, and um, two men coming along the road, two forestry workers, they had a torch and they saw a glint, and it was her engagement ring. Mm. And um, they went down and pulled the rubbish off her, and they went to grab her, I thought it was another body, went to grab her hand, and as they did, she grabbed them. Oh. And, she was alive, scared they live in hell out of them, but uh, she lived. <laughs> Take it out to Rani Hospital and lived. I just had to tell that man that I used to work with Cyril Ellis at the post office in Whanganui. Well, Cyril worked downstairs in the mail room, and I would see him when I delivered free telegrams to the staff there. 
He was more my parents' age, and Dad, who worked at the post office too, would tell us about how brave Cyril was that Christmas Eve of 1953 of the Tangiwai disaster night. The Old Coach Road is a Category 1 historic place. It was used for horse-drawn coaches carrying passengers and cargo between Oakune and Raurimu. While waiting for the main trunk line from Wellington to Auckland to be completed, this was the last section to be completed. Progress was slow on this last section of the rail link, probably because of the engineering feat of the Rarimu spiral. So the old coach road provided the best access route until it finally closed in August 1908. It starts at the Horobito end of old coach road and it takes you to another category one historic place being the Hapua Whenua Viaduct. Back over, eight people. It's wobbling. Jolly wobbling. Tracks of Cuny. Cuny on the tree. And it's just started snowing again. I guess that's what you get in Cuny. Thank you. 
like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We're meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. The big carrot is 7.5 metres tall and has a history all of its own. It was originally built for a TV advertisement for the ANZ Bank and when filming was completed the producers generously donated the enormous fibreglass carrot to Oakuni because of the market gardens and farms rich in volcanic soil and great for growing carrots and other vegetables. The wintry conditions help keep pests away too. The carrot is situated in Rochefort Park and the Jubilee walkway is just one of Oakuni's walkways which meanders through lush forest and bush. School holidays, there's still kiddies playing. <laughs> That's cool. Good on them. The carrot park. today. Poor babies, I know. It might. Tonight it might, hey? Bye-bye. Thank you.